In today's discussion, we have the uniform accelerated motion practice problem. And to begin with, let's start with this first question. Ken is practicing per a track and run 500 meter in 50 seconds. What was his average speed? The first given is we have the distance which is 500 meter and the time which is 50 seconds. And we are looking for the average speed. The first thing that we need to know is that the equation for average speed is also written in this way. V is equal to distance over time or the distance cover in a certain period of time. Since we have given 500 meter as the distance and we have given 50 seconds the time so we can divide it 500 divided by 50 is 10 so we have the speed which is 10 meter per second now let's try another example Kyla is running in a track meet started a run by reaching 400 meter in 50 seconds she then ran 500 meter in 50 seconds what was her acceleration we are looking for acceleration and we all know that the equation for acceleration is A is equal to final velocity minus initial velocity over a certain period of time. And we all know that the equation for velocity is B is equal to D over T. So that, so that we need to get the value of final velocity and the initial velocity. The value of t is 50 seconds. So, the first one is we have 400 meter in 50 seconds. So, this is the values that we need in order to get the initial velocity so what we have is bi or initial velocity is equal to d over t which is 400 meter over 50 seconds so 400 divided by 50 is 8 meter per second now let's get the value of final velocity final velocity is equal to d over t and by this time we have 500 meter as the distance and 50 seconds as the time so we have 500 meter divided by 50 seconds is equal to 10 meter per second so now we know the value of final velocity, the initial velocity, and the time. So we can solve for the acceleration. So A is equal to final velocity, which is 10 meter per second, minus initial velocity, which is 8 meter per second, over time, which is 50 seconds. So what we have is... 2 meter per second over 50 seconds is equal to 0 0.04 meter per second squared. So that's the acceleration. Now, let's try another problem. But by this time, we have this given. If we encounter this question, how fast, meaning to say it is looking for the speed. So, what we have, 
it's the given distance which is five hundred kilometer. But what we notice is that kilometer is not the SI unit of the distance. So we need to convert it first. We all know that 1 kilometer is equal to 1,000 meter. So we can convert it. So 1 km is equal to 1,000 meter. Then we can cancel it. So what we have is, we have 500,000 meter. Now, there is also a given time which is 20 minutes. So what we have is 20 minutes. And also, we all know that minutes is not the SI unit for time, but seconds. And we all know that the conversion for minutes and seconds is 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds. So now we can cancel this one. So what we have is 20 times 60 is 1200 seconds. And now it is already in SI units. We can now solve for the speed. We all know that B or speed is equal to distance over time. So we can now substitute the values. Uh, 5, 500,000 rather 500,000 meter divided by 1,200 seconds so what we have is 416.67 meter per second so that's the speed of the car let's try this Another example, a car start from rest was used and after 10 seconds reaches a velocity of 50 km per hour. What was the acceleration of the car? By this time, we are looking for, again, the acceleration. What I want you to notice is that if the car start from rest, meaning to say the initial velocity is zero and the given time for that is 10 seconds and it reaches a final velocity of 50 km per hour so we have the final velocity which is 50 km per hour And what you notice here is that the final velocity is not on the SI unit. So what we need to do is to convert it into SI unit. So what we have is we can multiply it. So 1 kilometer is 1,000 meter. So 1,000 meter. Uh, 1 kilometer so that we can cancel the kilometer here and R is not the SI unit of time so what we need is to multiply again so 1 R is equal to 3600 seconds so that we can eliminate or cancel R here so what we have now is the final velocity which is 13.89 meter per second. Now, since we all know the given final velocity, time and initial velocity, we can now solve for the acceleration. So acceleration is equal to final velocity minus initial velocity over time. So, we have now 13.89 minus 0 over 
10 which is seconds so 13.89 divided by 10 is equal to 1.39 meter per second squared now let's go to the final question Jan is walking 4 meter per second starting from school going to their home after 5 minutes he finally reached their home what is the distance covered from school to their house what I want you to notice here is that there is a given velocity or speed which is 4 meter per second so the speed here is 4 meter per second and there is a given time which is 5 minutes so since it is not an SI unit let's just first convert it into SI unit so let's have this 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds so 60 times 5 is equal to 300 seconds and we are looking for the distance so how we can derive the distance or the equation for distance we all know that velocity or speed is equal to d over t so what we need to do is just simply multiply both sides to t So what we have now is the distance equation which is D is equal to B times T which is the value of B is 4 meter per second and the value of T which is 300 seconds. Therefore, the distance covered from school to their house is equal to 1200 so we can cancel this meter so that's our answer so that's conclude the practice problem uniform accelerated motion thank you